So you join me here at the National Portrait Gallery where we've just dropped off a couple of our guests. Now the National Portrait Gallery is home to some of the greatest portrait paintings of famous Britons throughout the ages. However, the story that I always like to tell our guests is of James Scott, First Duke of Monmouth. You see, his portrait is inside there, but he's got a bit of a peculiar look on his face. The reason being is James Scott was brutally beheaded at the Tower of London and would go down as the most bloody execution in all of London's history. The reason being, the executioner, John Jack Ketch, accidentally messed it up and it took six swings of the axe before James Scott's head was removed. Now the problem being is James Scott was an illegitimate child of Charles II, or at least this is what he argued. So he led a rebellion against James I and this is what resulted in him losing his head as he sadly lost the Battle of Sedgwick. Now what happened was after he was beheaded, the constable or head beef eater at the Tower of London realised that James Scott's portrait had never been taken. So what he demanded is that the beef eaters go and pull his body out of the ground. A surgeon was given three hours to stitch his head back onto his shoulders and an artist was then given 24 hours to paint his portrait. So if you head your way into the National Portrait Gallery and look for James Scott's portrait, you'll see he has a peculiar look on his face for the simple reason that he was beheaded 48 hours beforehand. Now if you want to see other portrait paintings of other famous Britons, head yourselves inside of there. We'll see you on tour.